Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. So here you learn the concept of smiles. So what are smiles and what are they used for? So actually smiles is an acronym in English that means simplified molecular input line entry system. Smiles are a code system or can be taught as a code system to represent two dimensional or three dimensional structures in a linear form. So here, for example, we have a three-dimensional structure of a molecule, and here we have the 1D, or the linear representation of this three-dimensional molecule. So what are smiles used for? In cheminformatics and medicinal chemistry, we have a lot of computational chemistry softwares, and all of these programs can use smiles to generate the molecular structure of a compound in order to analyze the structure so we can generate 3D structures of compounds without needing to draw them. So here we have a free software, Mall Inspiration. Here we can put the SMILES codification and the program will generate the molecular structure for us. Here on the right we have another program, Osiris. We can paste the SMILES codification here and the program will also draw the structure of the molecule. So how can we represent molecular structures and components as miles? First, let's start by the bonds. In order to represent simple bonds, we can either put a hyphen between the atoms or we can simply skip the hyphen completely. So here we have a molecule of ethanol. So between this carbon and this carbon right here, we have a single bond. And between this carbon and the oxygen, we also have a single bond. In order to represent double bonds, it's also very intuitive. We can use an equal sign. So here we have a carbon dioxide molecule. This carbon here in the middle is linked with these oxygen atoms by a double bond. In order to represent triple bonds, we use a hash. So here we have, for example, hydrogen cyanide, and here we have a triple bond between the carbon atom and the nitrogen atom. And to represent non-covalent bonds, we use a dot. So here we have sodium chloride, which is a ion. Sodium chloride is formed by ionic bonds between sodium and chlorine. So here we represent the ions inside square brackets and separating these ions in square brackets we put a dot. We can also represent rings and cycles. So for example, in order to represent cyclohexane, which is a ring with six carbon atoms, we must use this codification C1, C, 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 and in the last carbon of the ring, we put a number one again, which means that we close the ring. Here we have another example dioxane so we have two oxygen atoms and four carbon atoms so here we put o1 which means that this oxygen is the first atom of the ring and we have carbon carbon and oxygen again and two additional atoms of carbon you can realize that i put number one after the last carbon so which means that this is the first ring of the structure in this case, the first and the only ring of the structure. So here, after the first atom of the ring, I put number one. And after the last atom of the ring, I put number one. And we can also represent aromatic rings. What are aromatic rings? Aromatic rings are rings with double and single bonds interspersed. So here we have a double bond, a single bond, and a double bond again, and so on. In order to represent these, we have three forms. In the first form, we just put single bonds interspersed with double bonds, that is, equal signs. In a second form, we put a colon between the carbon atoms. And in the third form, all atoms of the ring must be represented in a lowercase form. So here we can see that all carbon atoms of this benzene ring have a lowercase form or a lowercase c letter. We can also represent radicals within parentheses. So for example, here we have 5 methyloheptane, which means that we have a molecule of 7 carbons and we have a radical at position 5. So here, in order to represent this radical, we put the radical within parentheses. Here we have 3 methylpentane, which means that we have a primary chain of 5 carbons and we have a radical in position 3. So, in order to represent this radical, we must put this methyl in position 3 enclosed in parentheses. We can also represent cis and trans bonds. 
in order to represent cis bonds we use two bars in these orientations like a caret so here we have for example cis 1 2 difluoroethylene you can see that both fluorines are at the same side and both carbon atoms are also at the same side of the molecule and in order to represent trans bonds we use two bars in these parallel orientation so here we have trans 1 2 difluoroethylene you can see that the carbon atoms are not in the same side of the molecule and so are the fluorine atoms we can also represent the stereochemistry of alpha carbons alpha carbons are carbon atoms that has four different ligands they are very common in amino acids so here we have a representation of one amino acid alanine we have the central carbon we have hydrogen we have in amine group we have a methyl and we have a carboxyl group so we have four different ligands and in nature or in chemistry we can find two types of alanine we can find D alanine and L alanine so here we have the representation of alanine we have the central carbon we have the amine group we have the methyl and we have the carboxyl group if I put one at sign it means that the ligands are in a counterclockwise orientation and therefore we have D alanine. However, if I put two at signs, it means that the ligands are in a clockwise orientation and therefore we have L alanine. So this was the lecture about the smiles codification of strings. So I see you in the next lecture.